Hey folks, Eric the Old Jarhead here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I continue milling dug fir up in East Wenatchee. You'll notice these are a bit smaller logs and honestly, I try to discourage milling anything under nine inches. It takes roughly a 50% larger log than the cant that you want to build. So with a nine inch log, you can get about a six inch cant. But if you've got quite a bit of a taper, if you've got any bends, anything like that, it definitely makes it a little more challenging. And in a log like this one right here, I would actually recommend cutting the end off. Sometimes when you're really rocking and rolling and just knocking down the logs one after another, you just let it roll, it comes up on the deck and you mill it down. So in today's video, you'll see a couple different smaller dug fir logs getting milled up. So let's let this roll and watch these logs get turned into lumber and I'll come back to you in a little bit and talk a little bit more about what was going on. Continue on, getting the flitches milled, get them off the deck, then we can finish this camp and move on to the next log. One thing I will tell you is that I had a gentleman over on Forestry Forum tell me that he used to mill the way I do, but he's since changed a little bit on how he does this. So hat tip to West Virginia Sawyer, I'm going to start doing what you do here sometime in the future. And what he was telling me was that instead of milling down to just below the height that you want to trim your flitch cuts to, he would actually just go ahead and mill the cant all the way to the deck and then just raise the side supports high enough to support two or three pieces of lumber that are already milled, clamp the flitches against those pieces of lumber and then mill them down so that when the flitches were done, they could just off bear everything at once. I love that idea, so you're going to see me doing that in the future. We got that log off the deck and now we're going to get the next small one up and see how this one goes. Notice it's got a lot of taper, 
It's still got a lot of branch nubs, you know, and it's really important to get those off. And with this log, you'll notice a big taper on the far end. I would normally advise to cut that off. However, sometimes you're just in production mode and you're just cranking out one log after another. If they roll it up, I mill it down. So you're going to see that I do get lumber out of that small end. But I guess the real question is, was it worth doing? So when this log gets near the end, we'll talk about that again. Let's let it roll. All right, we're getting there. We've got two sides cut, but you can see that that small end is still barely cut. And so I've been taking some pretty deep cuts out of the big end so that I can get down to the size on the small end. And I think this is a good example of why it's better to cut that last six feet off and mill up a 10 foot log because you're actually going to get more yield out of that 10 foot section than you will the full 16 feet. In fact, in the end, the customer is probably going to end up cutting off the last five or six feet of each of these pieces of lumber when I get done. So ultimately, when you're out on these remote jobs, it's a really good idea, even if you're in that production mode like I was here, and I just thought, you know, they rolled it up, I'm going to mill it down. The reality is I do often advise my customers that they should really cut that end off and just mill up the 10 foot or 12 foot section or eight foot or whatever it is that doesn't have that small taper on the end. One, it's gonna go a lot faster. Two, it's going to yield better lumber in the end. And three, they're not gonna have to deal with that taper later on, which they're gonna cut it off anyway. So why? pay me the extra few minutes it takes to mill this log up and it's not a lot more time but you do get more waste and i think one of the big advantages of a mill like this is that we can really limit the amount of waste you have so it's a great idea to go ahead and cut the end off of the log so that you're not wasting potential lumber you could make on the bigger end of the log so that's just something to think about
As always, folks, thanks for watching. I hope everybody has a great Labor Day weekend. I'm going to be up in the cabin and enjoying myself. Maybe shoot a little video doing some thinning with that little electric chainsaw. But it's going to be fun to get out there and spend a few days up there. So I hope everybody has a great weekend. I sure plan on it. And I'll see you again on Monday. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. The old jarhead out.